911. Well, you see for yourself. And they don't need to whisper. The sedation she's had. So she's not even woken up yet? No. How are you, love? Me, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me, is there? Why? It don't matter. You want to sit here? Put a gun stretch my legs. So have they said what's the matter yet? What's the matter with her? She's had a bang on the head. Yeah, Dad, I know that. But they must have said something more than that. No, not much. Why don't you say a prayer for her? I know what I've been doing. Sophie. Hello, Sophie. I'm Dr. Renshaw. She's going to be okay. Well, your mother has had some trauma to the head. And you know when that happens, you sometimes get bleeding? Well, sometimes you get minor bleeding on the inside of the head, which is what's happened to your mother. Now, we hope that this will stop of its own accord. And if it doesn't? We might have to operate. Make a tiny hole, drain the blood off. And when will we know? We'll make a decision tomorrow morning. Okay. You understand? Yeah. It's nice to meet you, Sophie. It's really serious, isn't it? Drilling in the red and that. Yeah. Dad, please don't. It's not my fault. No, of course it's not. Don't be stupid, Dad. If I didn't. Don't want it done. We'd still be a family. There'd be no Frank Foster. There'd be none of this. I've learned now. There's a price to pay for everything, and I'm just. I'm frightened. I'm almost paying that price now. <laughs> I suppose I. at the wedding. I'm sorry. I suppose I was just upset and I needed someone to blame. That's what dads are for. No. I shouldn't have. If anything, I should be thanking you that you didn't let me marry Sean. You really mean that? Me does the sensible part. You know, when I married your mother, I couldn't imagine life without her. I still can't. I care about her more than anything. You know that, don't you? Yeah, of course I do. I don't want Sally to know that as well. I want her to open her eyes so I can say it to her. Until she does, you can say it to me, can't you? 